In today's video, we're going to be downgrading an iPhone 6S from iOS 10 or newer to iOS 9.3.5. And yeah, this is going to basically require you a Mac and um, a program named Turtus Merla. I don't know um, how you can spell that, but however, one sec, I'll show you guys. Um, I'm doing this unedited, so just be aware of that. Um, that's what it is. So um, go look that up and download it via the down official website but nonetheless um we're going to be downgrading this iphone 6s from ios um <clears throat> 9 um from ios 10 to ios 9. i have this on ios 10 because i i was testing it that was until i um have un had another iphone 6s on hand and i actually found out you can actually downgrade to ios 9 using an activation exploit so let's get started. So the first thing you're going to need to do is to put the device into DFU mode. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So now, um, first of all, you're going to have to download the file. And once you download the file, you're going to have to CD space and drag and drop the folder i've already done that so i do not need to do that um so yeah so the after you do that we're gonna run we're gonna basically run each command one by one do not include the run um each thing will say run this command um if do not include the run in the beginning so here's command one so basically what we're gonna get is the shc block and we're now going to paste this. And as you can see, it's now going to detect the, dev the device into DFU. It's going to put it into pure DFU mode. And now we're going to, um, in this last command, um, we're going to copy um, <clears throat> the IPSW file, which is going to be 9.3.5. And yeah, when it says um, IPSW file or SHC block or PTE block in the brackets, um, that is when you're supposed to drag and drop the file. Um, I'll show you guys later. But nevertheless, um, we got the IPSW. We're going to hit enter. And now it's going to tell us the operating system version. I was on iOS 15.8.3. So I'm going to hit enter and it's going to um, extract the file system. And uh, yeah. <clears throat> um, oh yeah, also a little spoiler alert. I am not editing this video because I do not have a... Um, editing video editing software as of currently and um, I have a very bad graphics card in my Mac Pro so um, therefore this is going to be raw footage I gotta pray that my friend does not FaceTime me during this moment so um, yeah right now um, <clears throat> it's currently doing its thing now it's going to be sending me back into recovery mode I'm going to put this into DFU mode one more time if you do not know how to put this in DFU mode just simply hold the power and home button for um, until the screen goes black for a couple seconds. Now it's like, keep holding the home button for like 10 seconds or so. Um, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I like to do 10 just in case. Now I'm going to go run this command. Now I'm going to run this command. There we go. It's now going to do it again. Um, there are going to be repeated commands. Yeah. But now, um, I don't know if you can see this, but on the bottom right corner... You see this? It includes run. Do not include that. Just simply um, do this part of the command. Um, you can see it from the corner of my eye. But um, yeah, we're going to paste the command. And now this is where the fun happens. Going to the Turtus Merla folder in block. As you can see here, this is where your block is going to be. You may only have one because um, I didn't do it this uh, multiple times. But I should probably say... Your ECID number, um, as I said, this thing cannot, this cannot be shared, or <clears throat> I mean, this can be shared, but it won't be really usable. Um, iPhone 8, comma 1, 9.3.5, and now we're going to go drag and drop it, and we're going to drag and drop the IPSW. Hitting enter, we're going to put number 2, and now it's going to start the restore. Nonetheless, I've done this to do, to, to, iphone 6s models um both the same um they're both 32 gigabytes 
One sec. Ah, uh, you guys can't see this. So yeah, um, basically that's actually the reason if you're a follower of the channel, um, that's why you haven't seen a video and like a long video in a month because um, of the fact that I didn't have a video editor. Now I did have Clipchamp, however, Clipchamp runs horribly and I got signed out of it. So yeah, now as you can see, it's gonna say um, PTE block saved. Um, zero, one, two. Free. And it's good. We're going to basically um, put this bad boy into DFE mode again. And yeah, these both these files will basically allow the device to um, boot. So as you can see, we're going to go back to the blocks. Um, we're going to put in the command again, the dot slash bin slash turtleus, um, whatever, space um, dash ed. Um, the easiest way is just to copy each command. So as you can see, it's not going. Yep. Now we're going. This is where everything's going to happen. The installation. We're going to copy um the part of command, um except for the PTE, and we're going to um copy PT the PTE block, and we're going to copy the IPSW. Oh, okay. And make sure you do not rena rename it. All right. So now once you got that, enter, and we're going to put in two for iOS um, 18.3, or 15.8.3. <clears throat> and be aware, that it's gonna erase your device. Nobody uses the iPhone 6S, so um, if you have any, like old data on here, you may wanna yank it out before you do this. Um, and we're gonna put in full caps, Y-E-S. Um, and that's that, as you can see, it's now going to begin the restore. And yeah, it's gonna show us the checkmate thing. And yeah, thankfully iOS has a built-in pause pe feature. So once we see the checkmate thing, I'll or the little bar, um, I will pause the video until um the actual thing starting to reset, which is now. All right. So as you can see here, um, it has finished um the restore, and once that you will see this. Do not panic. It it has not failed. It's because it's a Tether boot. So um, we're gonna put this into DFU. So yeah, um, so <clears throat> yeah, I haven't been making really long videos that much due to me not having a video editor. So I'm absolutely pumped to get myself a new graphics card. I'm thinking about getting a AMD Radeon Vega 64. Um, <clears throat> if you're not a PC nerd, you probably won't not know what that is. But uh, nonetheless, um, I'm, I have not built a PC in my life in case you're wondering. Um, so yeah, all right, now we're gonna add the, all right, so let's, this last command, we're gonna put into PTE lock, lock and put in that command. Um, you're always gonna have to do this if you reboot your iPhone. So if you reboot your iPhone, you are gonna have to do that command. All right, so as you can see here, it's now I'm going to boot into the operating system. Now, um, <clears throat> do not do it. So once um, it has um, booted into it, I'm gonna tell you guys what you're gonna have to do. Um, nonetheless, you're gonna have a you need you're gonna need something called Legacy iOS Kit. Um, this is meant for um legacy devices. However, you are gonna be able to um oh, you're not supposed to see that. <clears throat> be able to do something. Um, so yeah, as you can see here, um, we're now as you can see here, um, it is um rebooting, and um yeah, um, as you can see here, um as you may have saw there. Um, it's, um, quite literally just, um, <clears throat> did that. So, um, so what we're going to do is we're going to, um, put this back. So now, since we know it's working now, we're going to hold the power button and we're actually, we're going to put this back into DFU. Zero. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight. All right. So now, since we're done that now, once I actually um, I have to censor something, so I have to like resize the window. So <clears throat> yeah. So now, since um, we're now here, we're gonna type in bash, and once you have Legacy iOS Kit installed from GitHub, we're gonna drag and drop in the folder. We're gonna drag and drop for restore.sh file. And it's gonna gonna take it a bit. Oh yeah, and like how I decorated it, it's pretty nice. Um, but 
<clears throat> yeah, as you can see, we're, it's gonna do that. I'm gonna go down to useful utilities and we're gonna click um, SSH RAM disk. As you can see here, it's now going to um, put it in. I'll be right, and yeah, we're gonna answer the question. I'm gonna answer the questions if it gives me some. But I'll be right back once it is in, once um, something big happens. All right, so I believe something interesting is supposed to have it. Yep, as you can see here, um, I was just playing Doom on my iPod. <laughs> and yes, you can do it. You can play Doom on an iPod. Um, I just decided to do it. So, all right, so as you can see here, um, <clears throat> I'm now going to click um, connect to SSH and um, we're gonna copy a specific command. I can't show you where it's coming from. However, I can indeed um, I don't think I can show you, um, on here, but have, I think I can show you guys in the description what you're supposed to do. It's basically, it's going to allow the thing to exit out of setup. All right. Now, as you can see, we're going to click, we're now going to go down to reboot device. And now, um, <clears throat> back to here, we're actually going to go, um, back to, um, yep, temporary downgrade. I, mean, I can now go full screen it now. I can, I'm going to go now boot the device which I believe is actually my history. Yep. And oh, pff, it's in, oh, it's in DFU mode. Whoops, um, actually I'm gonna go terminate it because I don't want the thing walking me through how to put this in DFU mode even though I know how to. Like, literally, I can even do it with my eyes closed. I'm kidding, I, you shouldn't do it with your eyes closed because um, you can I'm mess something up. And yeah, I mean, clearly you can if you count eight seconds every time, but um, yeah. <laughs> Nevertheless, um, <clears throat> here we go. This should be my history still. Oh wait, I have to CD into the Taurus Morella folder and we're gonna go do that. There we go. Oh yeah, don't mind if I stutter sometimes as it is unedited and as you can see here, yeah, it works. Um, it sends the image, it's um, checkmating the thing and now it should probably um, boot the phone. Yep, and now you do not need the cord anymore. You can now go um, take it out of its slot. Um, and as you can see here, there we have it. iOS 9 on an iPhone 6. I'm actually going to put this up here. Yeah, refrain from like <clears throat> putting it on anything. Seriously, just do, do as I tell you. Do not plug it into your laptop or PC because it may deactivate again. Keep this thing off the Wi-Fi, please. Um, and do not delay, meaning that please, please, please do not connect this thing to Wi-Fi or your computer at all. So, yeah, but now that's how you can downgrade. That's um, basically how you can downgrade your iPhone 6S to iOS 9. Um, I will leave the command um, down below. I'll see if I can. But, yeah, for now, um, thank you so much for watching. I hope this video gets a decent amount of views. Um, so, yeah, for now. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. This is Lex Tech. Thank you so much. And I'll make sure I make new content and get a new graphics card. For now, peace.